term Silk Road was coined by a German geographer named Ferdinand von Richthofen in the 19th century. It refers to the commercial roads that connected mainland China with Asian continent, Europe, and even Africa during ancient times. And the most common commodity traded on the Silk Road was the silk from China. The place where I am is China National Silk Museum. It is located near the West Lake of Hangzhou, and this museum is one of the largest costumes and textiles museum in the world. And this location is an important place to conserving Chinese textiles, especially silks. China National Silk Museum has carried out a large amount of research and projects in this field, and a famous example is the Silk Road Week. The Silk Road Week is an initiative organized by CNSM and the International Association for the Study of Silk Museum Textiles for the commemoration of the spirit and legacies of the Silk Roads. This year is the third year since the first Silk Road Week unveiled in 2020, and today I'm going to explore one of those exhibitions to see how people's life looks like in ancient times. Let's go! The exhibition briefly presents an important road linking Central Asia and China, that is the Qinghai Road. The Dunhun and the Tubo or the two major tribes that dominated the Qinghai region and facilitated trade and transportation between West and East through the Qinghai Road. The Dunhun in particular actively utilized the trade road. In this exhibition, we can briefly expose the history of the Dunhun Kingdom and also find out how Dunhun people's livings, culture and art look like. For all the exhibits, I would like to recommend this part. It employs technologies to show the Tuyuguan people's life and sceneries. And it is very easy to understand and very approachable to young people and children. Qinghai is located at the western border of China, while Zhejiang is on the eastern coast, but they have a long-standing relationship. In early periods, silk from Zhejiang came to Qinghai along the Silk Roads and then westwards. Today, Zhejiang is also an important partner of Qinghai in its development. Exhibition web explores the ancient Chinese living sceneries between 6th to 8th centuries, in which we find out that the cultural exchanges are very frequent. In today's interconnected world, we believe that we can build a more sustainable world based on diversity and respect.